Um, hi everyone, this is Alan of Money in Mandarin. Um, right now I have a special guest from one of the top sites that I recommend in my blog, which is LiveMocha. LiveMocha is currently undergoing some changes, and I have here the Director of Marketing, Ms. Julia Bonheim, to talk about the changes they're undergoing and how this would affect you positively. So, yeah, good afternoon, Julia. Hi, Alan. Hi. Right. So, thank you for being here, and uh, I'd like to jump into the question. The world is getting smaller and smaller, and every every country almost has multicultural population. So, how do you rate the growth of language learners worldwide, and what factor do you owe this trend to? Yeah, I think you know. I think language learning is growing tremendously, and I mm -hmm. actually attribute a lot of that to technology, right? right? So, technology has done the amazing thing, which is to shrink our world even more, like you mentioned, right? So, you and I are talking right now on Skype mm -hmm. from across right. the entire world. People mm -hmm. have email. There are no longer you know crazy rates for long distance phone calls. You can use all sorts of technology, mm -hmm. and so what's that? What that's allowed to happen is let global business grow unbelievably also, mm -hmm. right? It's now possible to do business across the world and to get talent from all over the world as well. And so what it means is that there's really, in a lot of ways, only one major barrier left to worldwide global communication, and that's language, right? You and I can talk to each other at any time. We can reach each other at any time. We can collaborate. We can fly across the world relatively inexpensively, at least compared to, um, you know, to past decades and, and go to meetings. But if you can't speak the same language, then you can't collaborate. And so I think that's really one of the main reasons why language is becoming such an important factor of what's going on is it's really that last barrier to global mm -hmm. collaboration. Right. And since my blog is about Mandarin Chinese, do you, uh, do you see specific um, growth with that language? Absolutely. I mean, Mandarin's been growing, at, at, you know, in the entire world over probably really the last 10 years, the, the growth has been just tremendous. I think Mandarin joins languages like Spanish, um, mm -hmm. which has always been big and continues to grow. Um, and then you have, um, you know, right after Spanish, you have Mandarin, you have Arabic, you have these languages that are becoming increasingly important for business, for politics, for global commerce. Um, so, so Mandarin's absolutely up there, and it's growing. Although I think Mandarin remains a real challenge, actually, mm -hmm. for a lot of people. It's a difficult language to learn, particularly for people who speak um, Latin-based or Romance languages. Right. And so, I think there's a real need for great um, Mandarin education in ways that are going to help people really learn it and become proficient. Mm -hmm. And I think, with regard to the Mandarin content, um, it is going to be part of a major change with Lai Boca because. Currently, there's a new platform that you're developing, and could you share us uh, a little, mm -hmm. share to us a little bit more about it? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the new platform is really excited, exciting. Basically, um, LiveMook has been around for about six years now, and in that time, we've learned so much. Right? Mm -hmm. We've learned what works. We've learned what doesn't work. We've learned what kind of content works. What kind of content doesn't work? Mm -hmm. And once we wanted to start putting those learnings into action. We realized the that the technology that we were on previously wasn't flexible enough mm -hmm. for us to innovate as quickly as we wanted to. Mm -hmm. So we made the decision that if we wanted to move forward in the way we knew was going to be most beneficial to our learners, we would need to build on this new platform. And so the new platform has a bunch of really exciting things that I think are going to help people a lot. Mm -hmm. First, it it includes a content editor, which allows us to harness the power of teachers and authors and publishers worldwide mm -hmm. to constantly create new content for Life Mocha. Right. right. So those of you who are familiar with Life Mocha previously know that the content you saw, you know, six years ago was the right. content that we have today. It was pretty static. But now with these new tools that allow anyone anywhere in the world to build new content and then going through our um curation and editorial process to make sure it meets Live Mocha standards, this means that we have sort of a constantly growing bank of new learning content that um, is already greater than what we had on the old platform and has the additional benefit of growing every single day. I think the second benefit is that we've really structured the site around giving people productive interactions with mm -hmm. native speakers. Right, So every single lesson now has a new feature that we're actually just very slowly rolling out. So right. it's a little bit of a sneak preview, uh -huh. um, but a feature called Language Exchange, mm -hmm. which lets you do kind of a walkie-talkie style live mm -hmm. chat 
based specifically on the lessons that you learned in that activity set, right? So instead of just saying, okay, here's live chat, come up with something to talk about, right. which can be really scary and intimidating for right. a lot of people, um, we put everything in the structure of the lessons mm -hmm. and given people a lot of choice. Do they want to practice with a language expert? Do they want to practice with a community member? Um, and let them sort of decide the level of investment that they want to make in their own learning. So those are a, a couple of the things that we're really, really excited about. I think that's a good part regard to language exchanges. It's not just a random chat with, between two people. You must have specific context, just like you said, that exactly. it is done exactly. after a specific lesson, so you, you get a chance to apply it. So I think that's a right. good change rather than just leaving them to meet and talk about something that it, it, they might not be comfortable about, especially talking to a stranger. Exactly. So giving them context right. is a great way of um, framing the conversation. So, so yeah. great. that's a great introduction for Daivoka and there's plenty more. And as regard to the content, how do you curate this information? Oh yeah, so um, previously we had actually partnered with Pearson and HarperCollins for a couple of languages only. Okay. So that was actually only for English, Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Mm -hmm. And um, our, our Mandarin content, for example, was built by um, linguistics PhDs, yes. um, so very, very qualified and that's great. Right now, um, we curate our content in a couple of ways. The first is, um, even though we have these tools, that means that anybody can create stuff, we've been very selective about who we let use them, right? So we're only hiring people to build content for us who are teachers and or content creators with um, quite a few credentials, right? So they go through a pretty rigorous application process. Mm -hmm. Then each, each language has uh, what we call a curator, which in the traditional publishing world would be like an editor. Mm -hmm. And they have to go through and they have to check every piece of content before it goes out on Life Mocha mm -hmm. to make sure that the quality is accurate, to make sure that um, it fits within a framework. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of the second line of defense. The third, because, you know, obviously things change and things get out there and things slip through. It's just life. Um, there's a system actually within the content itself where if a user finds any mistakes or any issues, they can go ahead and actually flag that content, right? They can say, oh, I found a problem, and they can let us know the problem, and then we take a look at that with our author and with our curator to decide is that a valid issue that we need to fix and if it is then we'll fix that immediately right um recently there's of course some big news with regard to live mocha which is well you guys are merged with rosetta stone right it's popularly known worldwide as the yellow yeah. box near the airport <laughs> right so how exactly. would this affect live mocha services because rosetta stone is quite a premium product so Will this affect the pricing of Live Mocha, which is mostly free and yes. with certain paid services? Yeah, no, I, that's a great question. I'm glad you asked. Um, the, the basic answer is no. Um, it, it's not going to affect things significantly. I think you know the reason that Rosetta Stone purchased Live Mocha um, was for a couple things. First and foremost, um, it's because they liked the product and they liked that Life Mocha would allow Rosetta Stone to reach an audience that maybe Rosetta Stone couldn't reach before. We're exceptionally international in nature and we, we do have um, a big free population, people who, you know, because of reasons of um, economics and other international situations and, and even here in the U.S. can't pay for language learning. Yeah. And at Live Mocha, our philosophy has been that we want to make learning accessible for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think Rosetta really believes in, in getting that segment of the market and having Live Mocha be a great product for them. Mm -hmm. um, I think what we're going to try to be doing is try to figure out who our different learners are. And, you know, maybe there's some learners on Live Mocha who might really love a great deal on Rosetta Stone. Maybe there's a Rosetta Stone learner who could really benefit from practicing with native speakers on Life Mocha. So I think you'll see greater connectiveness between the products, um, mm -hmm. but I don't anticipate the pricing structure on Life Mocha to change significantly. The other cool thing about the acquisition is Rosetta Stone is really excited about Life Mocha's technology. Right. And Rosetta is in the process right now of, you know, moving away from the box and, right. and into the cloud, you know, making their products much more accessible, much more um, internet-based and Life Mocha's technology is going to help them do that. So I think that our customers can expect to see a lot of great um, cross-promotion, a lot of cool opportunities for learning. Mm -hmm. um, 
But, you know, our mindset in, in this partnership is that learning is really limitless. So the more options we can give people, the better. Great, great. And one aspect that I think Rosetta Stone also loves with Limoca is the community part because Absolutely. That's, that's quite, that's a big backbone that Limoca relies on, which is the exactly. active feedback and interaction of the people. So what, how would you say is, how big of an effect is the community to a language learner's experience? I think it's tremendous. And, you know, the reason is this. Language, at root, it's communication, right? They're the same thing, mm -hmm. right? You learn language so that you can talk to somebody, so you can right. exchange ideas with someone, so you can learn something. And so allowing people to actually practice that communicating by communicating, nice. I think is the best possible way to learn. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes it's not always possible. If I were to go out and say, I really want to learn um, Norwegian today, right. like I would have to look really hard to find a Norwegian <laughs> speaker. I don't right. know any... Um, but the internet has allowed us to connect people with each other and to connect people across interest. And so getting feedback from the community, practicing with the community, um, I think is a really tremendous part of learning. Right. And I think it's very important to have small wins. Like even if you just um, talk to people and introduce yourself, it kind yeah, of accelerates your learning because it keeps you motivated because you can see your results immediately rather than studying books for a week then trying to, to pass an exam. It doesn't give the same satisfaction as having an affirmative yes or your language partner giving you a smile. That it, that's something emotionally gets triggered, so it keeps you motivated for a long time. I think that's exactly right. You know, one of the things that we like to talk to is pretty much everyone who's ever even tried to learn another language can talk about like their magic moment, right? Mm -hmm. Like a moment when they said something and someone else understood them. Right. And it's like all of a sudden you've unlocked something amazing and it is its real motivation like you talked about mm -hmm. and it, it allows you to learn about those pieces of culture and those pieces of usage that you just can't get from a textbook. Right. So I, th I think you're spot on there. And I think uh, another segment that's not really talked about much is like me personally, I'm of Chinese descent but I live in the Philippines. So there's I think a lot of people who want to get to know their their uh, ancestry and want to learn the language. And by learning yeah. the language, they know more about the culture, the history, especially in the U.S. I think there's it's really a melting pot of all cultures. And I guess that's yeah. one main motivation to learn another language is to learn um, your ancestry. Like Mocha, you, you could access everything for free, like you could use... You could earn points by being active in the community, by helping people, okay. um, taking le getting lessons because you earn points. Then you use those points mm -hmm. to purchase lessons. But there's also, you exactly. also put in an option to buy beans, which is what you use to pay for lessons. Why is this option available? If, if anyone, anyone could get it for free, why would anyone buy these beans and who is it for? That's, it's a great question. So I'll sort of take one step back and talk a little bit about the structure of that sure. model. So it's something that is really common in the gaming world, right? So mm -hmm. anyone who spent a lot of time playing playing online games or video games, you know that there's, there's always stuff you can earn, and that's really, really motivating. And like you said, it, it's really important for us that there is at least an option to always get something for free on Life Mocha, right? right. We, we are built around having this tremendous community. And like I said before, everyone can't always pay for language learning. That said, you know, we're a business and we have to survive and, and we have to be able to um, pay our employees to build all this amazing stuff. Right. And so we devised a system where in order to get access to anything on Life Mocha, you either had to spend time helping others, contributing to the community, doing your own learning, right? So doing things that are all useful and contribute to the vibrancy of your learning path and to Live Mocha. Or if you have more money than time and say, you know, I really can't spend this time to, to help a bunch of other people out or I really just want access to this now, then we have that option for Beans where for a really pretty cheap price, it comes out to about a dollar a lesson. Um, you know, you can you can unlock that content by paying for a bag of beans. Mm -hmm. And so we basically wanted to serve all of the different groups within our community, those with more money than time and those with more time and money because they're both valuable assets. Right, right. And some would argue that time is even more valuable than money because it's something you 
You couldn't I, earn I that, right? I completely agree. <laughs> so depending on your situation, exactly. you, you exactly. have to weigh what you want to invest in. Like, would you like to invest more time to the community, earn the points, and pay for the lessons using them? Or, of course, if you have more, if you have limited time, it might be a wise choice for you to get the beans, which isn't really that expensive comparing to like live classes, early classes. And you get the benefit of like all the lessons, which is curated by your professional team, and also the interact interaction with the community. I'm quite excited for the live mocha to for live mocha to get to the new platform. So, um, Excellent. are there any like words of advice you'd like to give to language learners? And if you have specific advice for Mandarin Chinese learners, um, would you like to yeah. share them? I mean, I would say that overall. Um, Language learning can be hard, right? It takes time, it takes motivation, but it can also be unbelievably rewarding for all the things that we've talked about, sort of communicating internationally, getting to know new cultures, unlocking your heritage, making progress at work, right? And and the reality is that sometimes it takes time, but once you start putting in that time, it can be a lot of fun. Um, so I would just encourage people to really try out the new platform, spend some time, do a bunch of activities, submit things to the community, try language exchange, um, because you'll find that that the returns on on the that investment that you put into it um, are really tremendous. The world is really getting smaller, and you know, opportunities are out there, especially communicating with people. It's one of the best assets you can have professionally and personally. Absolutely. So, yeah, so we'd like to invite everyone yeah, to open up a Live Mocha account. It's free. And yeah, if you, you, yeah. you have some comments or feedbacks, just send me an email, drop it in the comments below, and maybe we could talk to Julia again for some improvements Absolutely. you'd like to have. So, Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you again, well, thanks Julia. Thanks so much for having me. Yep, thank you yeah. very much for dropping by and... Yes, talk to you soon. Very good. Thanks, Alan, and, and thanks to everyone who reads Money in Mandarin. Thank you very much.